Hey guys, Jack here with Obsessed Fishing, and today I'm coming at you with another video of some morning time pond fishing with my Lucky Tackle Box. You know, Lucky Tackle Box, if you don't know, is a subscription based product. You pay a certain number of dollars and you get a certain number of tackle every month. They're ranging from, you can get different boxes from saltwater to walleye to bluegill. This is the Bass XL box. It's $23.95. It's a really cool company with some really great guys and I just love it. I'm super excited. It's like Christmas every month. So today we're gonna take it out here on this pond, see if we can't catch some fish. And so, hope you enjoy, stay tuned. All right, let's see what we got. We got a lipless crankbait, a walking bait, another walking bait by Throwback Lures. We got a Livingston. It's early morning. I think I'm gonna start off with this Livingston one. See if we can't get a couple bites. Starting off with the Livingston Lures Pro Sizzle. Included in the June Lucky Tackle Box. You know, Livingston, they got the EBS sound technology, which is basically, all it is, is it's basically the baits make noise. That are supposed to sound like wounded or injured bay fish, or just uh, crawfish, or just any kind of life under the water that could attract bass. It's a pretty cool design. How well does it work on fish? It's it's as arguable as the Hydra Wave. Does it, does it actually work? Does it make a difference? You know, to me, in my mind, is it probably, does it like ignite fish into biting like crazy? Like, is it a magic bait? Probably not. It's probably, you know, the actions are, I feel like, are what catches fish. Fish use their eyes, number one, more than their hearing. But to me, you know, something different than just your average rattle can make a difference. And, you know, I think it certainly can't hurt, especially in certain times. Oh, God. oh, look at him. Oh, he's following it like, he hit it like three times. Had a couple hits so far, but they've just missed it. Now our lures talk to us. Crud, they're slopping the way. Got him. Hope the hooks hold. Look at that. Right on the pad. That's the Livingston Lures. Pro Sizzle walking bait. This fish is so warm. This fish is pound, maybe pound and a half, I don't know. Not that big, but nice fish. He's super warm. Like he's a million degrees Fahrenheit. For, he's super weird. Got him. That was when I stopped the bait. I stopped the bait and I was wondering what would happen. But again, look at that. Just in the top of the head. Not engulfing it, look at that. Just had the, look at that. Fell out of his mouth. That's just the problem, they're just not eating it. Look at that, a short little chunk. Almost a pound, chunky bass, but. On the top water. And I completely paused the bait. I wondered what would happen. So I just completely paused the bait. And he hit it, but maybe that's the key. All right. We got these, these are the Buddha baits. A uh, four inch baby mama. It's a craw beaver cross. Very cool looking bait. I actually ha like the look of this bait a lot, so. All right, 
As soon as this plane passes, I'm gonna catch one. Ready? Oh, there we go. Okay, there he is. Doggone it! It broke. That's what I get for not retying. I was lazy, I took an old a bait that I had tied on a couple weeks ago. Just put it on the bait from today. Can't do that. I was too far to the left. I'm not gonna get one. I might, probably won't get one on this cast. But we'll see. Oh, there's the bite. You son of a gun. I didn't reel into him like I should have. Should have reeled into him. All right. Ooh, that felt like a bite. That's a fish. Got him that time. Not a big one. Knocked out the Buddha Bait's bait on a tiny fish. Through that bottom jaw. That's a good one. Threw it right on top of where the where he was supposed to be on that little walking bait. That's a little uh the paycheck. What is it? I think it's the paycheck is what the bait's called by throwback lures, that's it. It's a bone color, it's a little minuscule walking bait. Minuscule fish. Thought it would be a little bit better one. But that was perfect cast right in front of that little flow, outflow. Glad to see there was one there willing to bite. There he was, in the tree. Came up and smoked that top water. Not a big one, but he can't even pull drag. I'm giving him all this time to let him do that, but he won't do it. Another fish on the little paycheck. But I don't think fish like this are going to give me any paycheck. 